Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to burn DVDs using Compressor. Now you may think now that iDVD is gone that Apple doesn't have any software that can burn DVDs. That's not true. They have a program called Compressor that's available in the App Store. It's usually thought of as an add-on for Final Cut Pro. But you can actually buy it by itself, it's 50 bucks, and use it to recompress videos and do other things with it like make DVDs. Let me show you how. And when you first run Compressor, you're asked right away what you want to do. And usually you would uh, use it to publish to something like YouTube. And you may actually never use Compressor like this. You may use it as part of Final Cut. But one of the options here is to create a DVD. So if you select that, it sets up everything you need to quickly burn a DVD. So here's Compressor. It looks pretty complex and it is. It has tons of different functions. It's used by video pros. But you only need to know a few things to use it to make a DVD. So up here you have the project we just created which is to create a DVD. It's going to create video here and audio because they're separate files when you create a DVD and they're all standard format because all DVDs are the same format. Thus all DVDs can play in any DVD player. So you're not going to mess with any of these settings. All you need to do is add your video and this, this, this drop zone right here is where you want to do that. So uh, I'm going to go to some sample video that I have and I'm going to just drag and drop it right into there and, and that's it. I've got my video in. It should be one long video file and it will burn that to a DVD. But first there are some things that we can do. We can go into the inspector here and with this job selected um, we can go to Job Action and make a bunch of changes. Uh, when the job completes we can create a DVD. That's what we want to do. The output device can be either your DVD drive, assuming of course you have one, uh, but you can also save it as files to your hard drive. It will create a disk image that can then be burned to a DVD later on using software. Uh, you can choose a template. There's only two, black and white. You can see down at the bottom here the black template. If I switch to white it's the same thing with just a white background. Um, either way I can add a background myself. Click that Add button and I can add an image that's the background either the menu or the chapter menu. So I would add two backgrounds. One with main menu selected, one with chapter menu selected. And then I can choose what happens when the disk loads. So I can have it skip the menu completely and just play the movie. Um, I can also set the title of the DVD. So once I have that the way I want I can preview the video here on the right. And here I can drag this little uh, preview thing here. I can set the start and stop if I want it to start and stop at different times than the very beginning and very end. Um, and I can also add markers which will become chapter markers. So for instance if I want to add a marker I can go here to add marker or just M and I can remove it with M. Uh, and that will add a chapter called Chapter 1, another chapter called Chapter 2, that kind of thing. I could also do Import Chapter List and I can select something. I've got a text file here. Um, I can actually preview it and you can see what's in this text file. I'll create it with text edit as a plain text file and it's just the time code followed by space followed by the name of the chapter. So this allows me to actually use real chapter names. So I'll open that and you can see it places the chapter markers automatically in here. So now I've got chapter markers ready to go. I've got a uh, background set or not set as the case may be here. I've got it titled. Uh, to actually burn the disk what I would do then is to go uh, move the inspector over and I can see under here there's a submit button. And when I hit submit uh, it will actually start uh, building the DVD. But first uh, just to see what's going on I'm going to bring up the history window here and when I hit submit I'll actually uh, be able to name the the batch process. That's not important. It's only important if you're having more than one process going on at the time, uh, which a video pro might. I'm going to hit submit and you can see it's actually creating this DVD here and it's going to build it uh, first uh, exporting the video and then the audio and then building a DVD. So now you can see it's asked me to insert a disk. It actually uh, opened up the drive and I can insert a DVD now and it will burn the disk for me. So that's how you use Compressor to create simple DVDs. Now it's nothing like what iDVD used to do. I mean you used to have menus and you can create all sorts of different layers of complexity with images and slideshows and all sorts of stuff. But you know Compressor will get your 
stuff onto a DVD if you absolutely need to present your video as a DVD. So it's a useful option at 50 bucks in the Mac App Store. And if you want to use it for other things like compressing video for, or, and uploading to YouTube, doing other tasks with it, then it might make it even more worthwhile. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.